to the point. Hello, everybody. Today we're going to be taking a look at the figure of Popthorn. So, little blue dude, lots of spikes. He's obviously of the wind element. His coloring is pretty good. I like the gradient underneath with the yellow where it goes to the lighter blue. And then to the dark blue for the spikes. He's got nice little wings on him. Now, the plastic feels harder than something you'd probably get from Giants, maybe you're, what you're used to for the Giants figurines. I thought the quills would be a little softer, something along the lines of what Pop Fizz had for the Giants run, but overall, I like it. I even has a little tooth sticking out, and when I first seen it, I thought it was like a piece of packing foam or something. I was trying to get it out, and I realized, ah, it's a tooth. But anyway, he's probably one of the lightest of the Skylanders. He's very small, very light. But overall, construction-wise, I like him. He's pretty good. You can't really see any seams, so... Well, actually, you can see a seam right here. But that's getting pretty nitpicky. But anyway, let's go ahead, put him on the portal, and let's see what he can do. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Skylander Swap Force. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Popthorn. So, his main attack, the Y one. Uh, he shoots out his thorns. In basically like a homing missile fashion. And his other attack. Okay, when you come unpuffed, it does a big one. And other than that, you can actually just hold it down to machine gun smaller puffs out. That's not too bad. I prefer the puffed up form, but anyway, let's go ahead. Let's take a look at his starting stats. All right, so Pop Thorn starts off at 280 health. Uh, 43 speed, 24 armor, a 6 crit, and while it shows him having 81 elemental, but take into consideration that he's getting 56 from all the other Skylanders that we've added to uh, the game already. So let's go ahead and take a look at his skills next. So the first skill that he starts with is Puff. Press Y to puff and damage nearby enemies. While puffed, rapidly pressing I to shoot out homing spikes at nearby enemy. That's actually the skill I like the most so far. Haven't maxed them out yet. Uh, next would be pop. So press A to pop and shoot a large wind blast. Uh, while popped, hold A to shoot gusts of wind at enemies. Actually, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty fast. When you upgrade it later on, as you can see, it does get a little bit better. So the first upgrade you're going to be grabbing will be Fresh Breath. Press A to pop. After popping, hold A to shoot more powerful air projectiles for a short time. Uh, next one, this is actually your third attack, Puffball Pound. Press Y to puff. Press X while puff to slam into the ground, damaging all nearby enemies. Uh, it's okay. I don't mind it. It's a nice little AoE. We'll go ahead. The next one is Polish Spikes. So press Y to puff. After puffing, press Y rapidly to shoot more powerful spike projectiles for a short time. Next up will be wind trapped. While popped, I always keep wanting to say well pooped, but it's not pooped, it's popped. Well popped, press X to leave behind a spiny mine. The mine puffs and explodes when enemies approach, launching them into the air. I haven't had a whole lot of success with this particular skill, but it is kind of funny to watch. So we'll go over, we'll take a look at his soul gem ability. To puff or not to puff. Well popped, speed is increased. Well puffed, armor is increased, which reduces damage taken. Pretty good skill, considering you're going to use both of them, even though you use one more than the other, depending on your play style, you do end up using both. Okay, so the next one is roller puff. Well puffed, hold X to roll forward, damaging all enemies in the way. Puffing deals increased damage and reflects a nearby projectile. So that's bouncing back, or sorry, bounce back. Prickly body. While puffed, taking damage releases a spike projectile that damages an attacker. So ba your basic thorns type of skill. Arrow trampoline. While puff, hold X to charge a powerful slam attack. Release to bounce multiple times, damaging all enemies in the way. Next up, we have deep breath. While puffed, push A to shoot three air blasts instead of one. This is where it actually really starts to get pretty good. 
And the last one in the line is Scattered Winds. While popped, air beams now shoot multiple projectiles at that spread. Now the last time I tried the top line, and I liked it, it was pretty cool to work on that, that particular tree, I guess. I think this time around, I'm going to try the bottom one though. It just, I just think it might be a little bit better for me. But anyway, it's up to you which one you want to try. So that's it for Pop Thor, at least our first look at him. Uh, go ahead and let me know down below if you've played Pop Thor, if you like him, what tree you actually like to use yourself. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up as it does always help me. And subscribe to get more videos from our channel. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.